hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today we are starting our new uh, topic which is javascript output technique so what is actually output means in programming so output basically is the process of rendering result to the user meaning if user trying to get some information so we like uh, sometimes we perform mathematical operation in programming so we give less less just add to a number so it will give you output system will give you output so that's the thing uh, so basically output is the process of rendering the result to the user so so you can display any value of result of any expression in the html so there are various technique as you can see here we have alert we have confirm document dot write inner text inner html outer html text contain console method we have some more but main these are we normally used so we gonna learn all this technique one by one so let's start with the first option which is alert so what alert is basically is a kind of pop-up you will see in the browser window so let's see how it work so let's create a our html document take a html structure first and let's type take a paragraph and in which we type click delete to delete records and what to click we have to click uh, a button right so we just give a button and the value delete let's see what is it's showing in our web, uh, web page so this is how it looks like okay so now what user wants to want to delete some record so how he can do it he has to press this delete key and he wants to see the result so he wants to see the output so we have to write some event so what when he can see the result when he will click this delete button so on click so that's something we have to write so on in button inside of button we give a event called on click on click and uh, what we want to do a on click we want to perform some action meaning we when we talk about action that means we want to declare some function let's say delete and uh, we define function by uh, parenthesis now we have to create a create a function delete so for that we have to write our script inside of the script we define this function by using a keyword function and we give this name delete and curly braces and now what we want to do is here first what you can do with the alert so after when a user click on delete button so we want to show some message so let's see alert and we can show the message first so record deleted so it will show this message when you just click on this delete you will see this browser pop up record deleted but uh, sometime i get the question can we change this pop up window can we give some color no you cannot do that so this is predefined uh, style through browser so you cannot do anything else only thing you can do is if you want multiple lines here right now is one line right so you can you can give two lines how you can do that let's see so now we can just give forward slash n and we write need more to delete then click again so refresh and click delete again now you see you got this line second so record deleted need more to delete then click again okay so what's the drawback of this uh, alert function 
you don't see any other cancel nothing like that option only you can get rid of this uh, window pop up just pressing this okay or you can press escape that still means okay so that's the reason we don't recommend to you alert just to give the output so what else you can do with the alert you can do uh, some expression calculation also like let's see we want to uh, give some number like which record number we want to delete so let's see we can just add a plus sign and uh, we can do like uh, calculation 10 plus 5 and uh, we want to add something more we can give uh, again plus outside of the bracket plus we can record that delete it so this is a kind of complex uh, uh, line that also you can do so alert can perform some mathematical operation also and plus sign here means concat like you just adding uh, two two instructions so basically you can check it when you click record 15 deleted so there is no space we can add some space like space and before that okay this is better so you can write anything inside of uh, alert function so you can perform according to your need so second one what we have is uh, confirm so confirm so what is the property of confirm is like give you a chance to cancel that command like uh, so it's kind of boolean method it provide it returns the boolean so let's see how it works exactly so we write our code right here and uh, we change this alert to confirm so we can change this line do you want to delete delete the record so now we can check our web so when we click delete it will give you option to ok or cancel so if you press ok so that's a true it will return true as a boolean boolean means you have two two option true or false so when we press ok it is true and when you hit cancel it's false okay so we, now we have a two value true and false so in programming we write logic to handle those conditions like we get if we get true what we gonna do and if we get false we we give other choice so that's uh, how programming work we have to write logic some conditional statement so in javascript we have some conditional statement today i'm going to use a uh, like a statement which is if and else i know we did not start a conditional statement yet but just to understand this topic i'm uh, just giving you a brief introduction of if and else so we can understand what is exactly happening behind the scene okay so what we do is right now this is returning true and false right and so we want to store that so otherwise it will we're not gonna do anything with that so we have to store it so normally we just store anything in a variable so we just call it result and now we write condition on this result so let's see we give if we use brackets parentheses and we write result so we give one equal sign to assignment okay like we give here result and we getting the value using this assignment operator okay but we want to compare this uh, value so what is true and false so we will compare with two equal sign and then we we see if it is true what we want to do is in the next line we can do we can write our block of code we want if uh, user click ok so it will return true and we're gonna compare that true value with the result so result is true then give the message to the user so the message to the user record deleted okay if user click cancel 
So what we want to do, we just simply write else and we, we write uh, alert and uh, we want to say cancelled. Okay, let's see if it is working. So when you just click on delete, you got two choice, okay or cancel. So first we, we click on okay, we say record deleted. So it is working, all right. Then we click on delete again. Then this time we're gonna select cancel. So now it's showing, it's giving the option canceled. So this is how we handle our logic. And uh, so every button normally in programming, we write logic behind it. So where user is clicking, we record everything, like what's the behavior, behavior of our user in using our application or our website, where he's going. So we have to write logic of every action the user takes, okay? So that's how programming work in real world. So this is about uh, confirm fun function. So in next video, we will learn about this remaining remaining output technique. So make sure you subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon so you can get my notification of my new videos. So see you in the next. Have a nice day.